With fire and with sword, amen, amen. With fire and with sword, amen. With fire and with sword, here come the men of war. Ah, the world must be coming to an end. And a lot of folk performers in those days, like McGinn, didn't really get the attention they deserved. They regarded the media as the enemy. We were all, you know, wackies at the capitalist press and all that stuff. Um, and it wasn't until later, when he, when he was established, and uh, when the entertainer in Mac McGinn, rather than the politician, came out to him, that uh, he began to be taken uh, more openly by broadcasters and by newspapers. I mean, there are very, very few film clips of Mac McGinn singing for the simple reason that television wasn't interested in him. He was too dangerous. They massacre the young. Amen, amen. They massacre the young. Amen. They massacre the young. To make them hold their tongue. The world must be coming to an end. Let's hear us. With fire and with sword. Amen, amen. With fire and with sword. Amen. With fire and with sword. The most outstanding thing about Matt, if you'd never seen Matt McGinn before, but you had seen other folk singers, was the fact that he couldn't sing. And he had no uh, sense of timing, and no musical sense at all. And so when you, uh, when you backed him, as I did, and Tom Harvey, you had to you could say you were doing a, uh, you would not hear your telly the new if it was, and if all the, you, you had to go up on his left and his right with the band, you go, da dang 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 You go, oh, here's the loo, the loo. <laughs> right, he'd go. And then his wife came to the show, and she said, I was uh, to Matt, she said, the show was very good, but they're too close to you. Those two, the guitars and the banjos, the hairy ones, you should get them away, it's, it's too cluttered up. And of course it was, she was absolutely right. So he said, I want you behind me and apart. <laughs> so we were, he was in a different key, we were playing. And, and, and I remember Tom Harvey used to shout over, Billy, pull him into G. <laughs> We'd have a D7. And he'd go, well. And Matt would come off. He'd say, I thought it went great tonight. Did you feel that? There was a sort of power in it. <laughs> you were being driven, man. <laughs> A loaf of bread beneath the tree, a jug of wine and you and me. We will sit and we will see a magic shadow show in and out among the low and the figures. Just a mighty 